नाजिन स्पोर्ट्स टाइम में खुश आमदीद इस वक्त मुलायजा कीजिए वन डे ट्राइंगलर क्रिकेट सीरीज 2003 के सिलसिले में पाकिस्तान और न्यूजीलैंड के माबेन खेले गए दिलचस्प मैच की झलकियाँ इन झलकियों को तरतीब दिया है जुनेद चुखताई ने Match number six, and New Zealand have qualified for the finals. So pressure off that team, but they'll be looking at this match to learn something more about the difficult conditions. And New Zealand uh, skipper Stephen Fleming said, "There's only things to learn from uh, this match, and that's exactly what the Kiwis will be looking to do." So, Dav, it's a beautiful ground, and uh, I think we're going to see after this uh, tournament. Of course, the groundsman will work on the pitch. You'll see more and more international cricket here, and it's a pitch that needs a bit of work. But once that's done, it's a beautiful venue. I think it's a block that needs to to have a lot of preparation as you lead up to tournaments. Um, so perhaps uh, you know, with another six months under its belt, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll play a game here late in the year in December against England. A big match that'll be. Um, and the outfield, I think, I, well, I can't fault that. It looks very nice. It's flat. It's green. Perhaps a little bit hard, but uh, the whole setting here is uh, conducive to good cricket. We need a, that pitch to get a little bit better, more preparation, and I'm sure we'll get some big scores here and uh, thrilling heaps of people that have come to watch. But not today. Not many people today. Yeah, there you can see it's a lush green outfield. There, just a confirmation of the toss here in this game number six. It was Stephen Fleming who spun the coin. And he also called the right side of the coin. Shook hands with Rashid Latif, made a point that there is a bit of moisture in the pitch, and he would want the seamers to use the pitch first with the new ball. Just the one change uh, that was uh, enforced again for New Zealand. They're having a few injury problems. Andre Adams has been left out, and Paul Wiseman has come in, which should shoot, uh, suit the pitch uh, that we see. And Pakistan here, uh, they have made a few changes there. Perhaps a, a little disappointed with uh, the way Faisal Iqbal has gone through this tournament. So he's been left out. In his place comes in Yasser Hamid, and we see some spin from Danish Kaneria, and he's coming in at the expense of Shabi Ramad. Mohammad Afiz, eight matches, 173 runs, strike rate of 50.3, best of 53. He's got a couple of 50s, including one here in Dumbula. In fact, the only man to make a 50 in this competition so far. Right-hand player uh, with a future. And his partner is uh, Tofikuma, the left-hander. 17 matches. He's had a struggling time here. 424 runs uh, for the left-hander. He's got a bit of potential. Best of 81 not out. Pakistan need a good, solid start here. Awesome swing movement there. That'll be wide. It'll be four of them. Kyle Mills, right arm medium fast from the scoreboard end. And I think uh, that's probably taken. The umpire is not convinced. I think probably got a bit of uh, his arm or part of the uh, shoulder. Certainly sound as it went past the gloves of Taufik. And it's nice and close in. It just closes the angle and he's forced to play. He's trying to get out of the way. Maybe it came off the back shoulder as well so that shows some good bounce there from kyle mills i think this is a good decision in the end tries to get out of the way the hands go up for a start to play and then drop and i think that's come off the back arm there's uh, paul wiseman in the team for new zealand today because uh, adams is injured the new zealanders have had difficulties there with their bowling resources his first one day international since january 2001 he hasn't played uh, recently very much at all. Oh, bowled him straight through. Taufik cleaned out by Tuffy. Looking on to get on the drive, has been bowled through the gate. Again, pitching the ball up a little. Nipping it back, perhaps just a smidgen from the seam to take the off stump. Now that shot was uh, probably on on a good batting track, but not on this one. Look where the ball pitched. 
playing on the up through the line always dicey and uh, really paying the price for uh, being just a little bit careless not a good shot eight for one pakistan Tofi kumar goes back for two important moment uh, in uh, the career of the newcomer yasir hamid making his one day international debut here not an idle track really to be making your debut but uh, he's batting at number three in pakistan need a good score from the young player Darrell Harper standing in 74th one international game. Plenty of experience there. Ah, oh, played on. So another one falls. New Zealand off to a brilliant start here. Both the young batsmen now back in the pavilion and what a start. Well, not really wanting to play here. I've got a feeling because the bat was very well angled back. A little bit of bounce from Kyle Mills. And you'll see it. the bat is not really in a position to play very angled bat and it's really just hit the ball has hit the bat and then come down on an angle onto the stumps very very late to play i got the feeling he didn't really want to play that delivery at all so hafiz now has been dismissed very soon after tawfiq both the openers out hafiz for three pakistan in trouble 10 for two yusuf johanna he's a class player but he's uh, definitely shot in form being asked to come in very early. 3.3 overs bowled by New Zealand. He'll surely be tested out there. Edgy and uh, on the bounce to second slip. It's quite a prodigious in swing. There's a bit more there. That's a nice stroke from Hamid. Jasser Hamid uh, off the mark with a stylish drive through the onside. Will it go to the boundary? Saved. Paul Wiseman is the feeler who chased it, and so that'll give the youngster some confidence. Yeah, it was a good stroke, wasn't it? It was well up again from uh, Tuffy. Perhaps trying to get through the defences of Hamid. Here's the fielding chasing from mid on. That's Paul Wiseman. Does well. That's saved. That's again very well played. It's beautifully struck. Picked it up very quickly, got into position and hammered it away. Yasser Hamid is having a good time and just looking at his body language, he seems to be enjoying the moment here. It's his first big game at the highest level. Got into a very good position. Seems to be like uh, a lot of Pakistani batsmen, a natural puller of the ball. Good stop by Lou Vincent directed and was the batsman in trouble there just looking at the reaction of the new zealand players might have been a close call yes um, that was a good bit of fielding and um, playing on the back foot he really uh, took his uh, time about calling for that uh, run good shot now that's a very good shot the over has been spoiled for Scott Cyrus. Five runs coming off it, 38 for two. Very close that. And Yusuf Yohana once again losing his concentration. That was the first delivery he was facing from Daniel Vittori, given his runs. And Daniel Vittori is not impressed. He thought that uh, the impact was just from the pads. close thing but since it's been given as a run so no real damage hey! 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 taken so as I was just mentioning that this pair was looking a million dollar Yasser Hamid has played a loose shot and Yusuf Johanna is disappointed because uh, the shot was uh, on but could have been better off really uh, playing it along the ground just a little careless there ball stopping on the batsman change of pace with Chris Harris getting the leg cutter in not to the pitch of the ball trying to hit it on the up always a difficult proposition on this pitch and Chris Harris makes the breakthrough so Yasir Hamid's first outing in international cricket has been impressive he's out for 25 Pakistan 57 for 3 
Yunus Khan is the new batsman. He'll be facing uh, Chris Harris's last ball. And so good effort from Chris Harris. He's able to get rid of uh, the impressive looking uh, Yasser Hamid. is away. Now Yusuf Johanna has lost his partner Yasser Amit. He's got to be careful here. Lou Vincent is a very fine fielder. Once again, a little lazy in executing the cut shot. He's been dismissed for playing that shot before. Good ball. That's a wicket. It is a wicket. <laughs> What a great delivery. Drifted in, drew Johanna down, spun away, as we have a look at this in slow motion. Down with the four defense, big back lift. And misses the ball trapped in front. Umpire Peter Manuel had no hesitation, and that's a big wicket for the New Zealand team. Pakistan now lose their fourth wicket, with only 61 runs on the board. So, Shab Malik, the new batsman for Pakistan. Tuffy started off with eight overs for 25, and you've got to keep in mind, folks, 156. Well, it's a big appeal. Pad first, not this time. What a good shout. Great delivery. Again, deception in the air. Have a look at this. Beautiful high arm action. Bounces online. I tell you, that was going pretty straight, wasn't it? Quite adjacent. I think Shai Malik might be a little bit lucky there. Perhaps that front foot thrusted out might have helped him. Yeah. Oh, it's too short, but nearly taken. It's going to go through to the boundary. Too short. You cannot afford to be short on this pitch. The over ends with four. Five runs from it. 74 for four. pulled away and there's a big space there behind the fielder who was wide at mid on and that's for he's a busy player Yunus Khan very aggressive no matter what the situation is four down for Pakistan but he's got the opportunity to work off the back foot going right back to give himself the extra time to get the placement right hitting it in front of square good positioning great timing that It's up in the air. Is anybody going to get there? No. Matt Horn was the man running behind for that one. He was at mid-wicket inside the circle. Some miscued sweep shot falling in no man's land. No man in the deep at mid-wicket. Just a short mid-wicket. So Yunus Khan taking the chance. Actually, good cricket from the New Zealanders. They want him to take the chance and miscue this sweep shot that he likes to hit very hard. 102 for four. Last five overs, 4.20. Oh, it's gone up in the air. Matt Horn is going to attempt to take that catch. It's going to be a difficult one. He manages to latch onto it. That's a very, very good catch by Matt Horn. Substituting there. So Yunus Khan has been dismissed. Daniel Vittori again, the man to provide the breakthrough for New Zealand. Once again, the ploy working. No deep mid wicket. Miscued one in the last over, but was safe on the previous occasion, but not this time. Was in the air for a long time. Matt Horn doing extremely well, keeping his eyes all the way on the ball. Great catch, that. And Daniel Vittori makes an important breakthrough. Yunus Khan, one of the better players from Pakistan, he's gone. He's gone for 26. Pakistan, 102 for 5. Experienced man here. Good strike rate and an average of 20. Yeah, just less flight on this occasion, or this over from Paul Wiseman. I think that's good thinking. As a spinner, when there is something in the pitch that provides you to turn the ball, then you get to the pitch. If there's nothing in the pitch, then you try and beat the batsman in the air. And this pitch has already been a pretty useful one from all the bowlers. It's helped the medium paces and the spinners. Take it. Just a yard inside the boundary rope. Chris Keynes is the man who takes the catch. Rashid Latif fancies his chances against the off spinners. Paul Wiseman gets a wicket. 
Very similar to the way he got out against Sri Lanka. Big heave. And hitting into the wind. Makes a decent contact, but there is a strong wind here. And Chris Keynes taking it excellently, keeping his eyes on the ball, making sure that he doesn't go off the ground. And Paul Wiseman is excited. Big game for him. He's picked up a wicket at a crucial time. The Pakistan captain has to go. He's gone for two. Pakistan, 108 for six. The genuine all-rounder in the Pakistan team, Abdul Razak. Just thrust his pad at it and they'll put pressure on the batsman when he does that. 12 overs to go and out. Good over from Wiseman. 109 for six. Rashid Latif, well, he had plenty of time really to go for that white a little early in his innings. Catch it is the shout, but it's gone over the top of uh, Midon Tilsman. So, welcome boundary. Huh? First four in eight overs, courtesy Shweb Malik. A lot of conviction in this shot. Went right through with it. Just cleared, well, cleared it by a few metres, I guess, mid-on. But you can see the intent. Good conviction in that shot. Positive effort to hit the ball over the infield. And um, that has necessitated a change. Yes, mid-on now has gone back to protect that boundary. But there's still six in the circle, so... Pressure on. Bad ball, short, long hop, easily hit away for four. That was a, a bad ball that deserved a boundary. Shweb Malik will take it. Chris Haynes uh, would be disappointed because it uh, put one up there, which went for a slog through mid on. Next one, ball a little short. And uh, Shweb Malik cashing in on uh, a loose delivery uh, very nicely in position, knew exactly where the fielder was. That's a nice hit. Very good shot from Shred Malik. Using his feet, we haven't uh, seen a lot of players do that. Getting to the pitch, restricting the spin on the ball, and he's got a boundary. He's been there for just 47 deliveries, and uh, doing a good job. So a lot rests on uh, Shahid Malik's shoulders to, uh, to ensure that his team gets a reasonable total to defend. And that's put one uh, through the offside. Another four. Paul Wiseman uh, is not bowling well. His confidence seemed to be dented a little after that straight hit from Shahid Malik. So another four. A couple of good overs for Pakistan. Well, Malik knows there is no protection out in that offside boundary. Any way you can, but not the prettiest but very effective shot an intentional lifting shot through the offside more like a, a back foot drive that he's lifted intentionally to give him maximum result bad ball too short and it's exposed that boundary oh very lucky and uh, lucky runs in fact four of them pakistan will take them inside edge and Shreb Malik has uh, now gone on to 46, just four, one, four runs away from uh, his 50. Looked to me like uh, the batsman was taken by surprise with this one. Back and across nicely, in line, and it just moved. Must have been some movement off the wicket into the right-hander. Didn't quite know how to handle it. And um, probably a little bit lucky to get away with that, but a good piece of bowling. Here we go. Oh, it was like an off-break. Gave New Zealand the breakthrough very early in the day. can be very irritating, Chris Keynes. Looks innocuous. Kind of a nothing delivery. It can uh, end up to be a dot delivery. Very awkward at times. Extremely awkward to face this type of bowler, particularly when the odd one grips and just leaves the, the outside edge of the bat. Here's an inside-out shot. Very good one by Shad Malik. And that's his 50. A fantastic effort today. 51 runs and 60 balls. Terrific batting effort. Only the second batsman to have scored 50 in this tournament and richly deserves the applause. The second 50 in uh, one-day internationals. He also has um, two hundreds and the second 50 of this uh, particular tournament. So uh, both uh, 50s uh, courtesy uh, Pakistani batsman. Mohammad Afiz is the first one. Now Shweb Malik is the second to get there. It's turning out to be a one-meet innings. He's run hard, 
running has been extremely good young legs and they're doing the job young legs and fit legs that's gone through the gap Shreb Malik will get uh, four what a hit nicely executed he got a chunk of the bat and uh, importantly placed it in the gap that also raises Pakistan's 150 they're 153 for six now I reckon this one wasn't controlled that well it was a bit more of a top edge he did not control the shot in the air he's played wonderfully well Shreb Malik and that's hammered away for four once again the miser the Tory has um, now been taken on particularly uh, when it comes to runs Vittori has been uh, very mean but uh, Shoaib Malik hammers that away taking virtually in the half volley and sweeping it into the open spaces on the onside so this partnership um, certainly enhancing Pakistan's uh, hopes of uh, getting into a very strong position in this game hammers it away once again and this time it goes right over clears uh, the ropes the mid-wicket boundary for six great shot oh, well this is just a glut of runs really here this is what we've uh, been hoping for all of us and we're really seeing some uh, exciting batting at the moment from Shab Malik in particular 74 from 71 deliveries strike rate over over a hundred eight fours and a six to him now and uh, 13 runs from the Vittori over so he goes up this time in the air there's a man under it the wicket keeper he's under it and safe hands so Shred Malik's fine innings comes to an end looking to um, go mid wicket once again off uh, Vittori and uh, pulling out to Mackalam who runs uh, who ran in to take a very good catch so he goes for 74 important thing it's a dot ball it's a little bit shorter and therefore it bounces a little bit more and Shab Malik looking to repeat the stroke gets a top edge Mackalam running out from behind the stumps takes a comfortable catch running towards the ball so uh, a really good innings though from Shab Malik that could well change the fate of the match and turn it for his side so he's gone finally though New Zealand will be pleased to see the back of him for 74 it's 179 for 7 about the new batsman fast earning a reputation of uh, being very useful with the bat he's um, got a best of 43 and um, he comes in to uh, give Razak the support to um, get into the final burst in this innings Just a wee bit of width there, giving himself some room, and that's another boundary. Abdul Razak. That's a fine shot by Abdul Razak. What a, what better man to have than uh, him at a stage like this um, in this innings? Certainly, very creative. Gives himself room and strikes it um, through that offside. Pakistan have dominated. The most runs scored in uh, the last 10 overs has been 64. Shobakhtar looking for the boundary, and he'll get there. Another superb shot by um, Shobakhtar. So the big devil Tuffy, who has been used uh, sparingly uh, by S Skipper Fleming, has been also given the treatment. Just too wide, Daryl Tuffy. You must get the ball up there. You can't afford to bowl short on this sort of pitch. You've got to get the ball up at least and straight if you can so that at least the batsman's got to hit down the ground. 199 was the highest total in this tournament. And that looks to me as if it's going to clear mid off. No long off. It's been taken. Kyle Mills under that catch at long off for New Zealand. Razak. Looking for the boundary off Daryl Tuffy has been caught out, not quite reaching it. Yes, Razak was looking to go over the long off, the man standing deep, but these boundaries are long ones. That's probably uh, the longest part of the ground and uh, just finds Kyle Mills.
who um, gleefully hangs on to that catch. So that's uh, the end of Razak. He goes for a well-made 23. And uh, Pakistan, uh, 191 feet. So with just eight balls uh, to go in this innings, Mohamed Sami comes in. Well, two batsmen there. Shahab Malik, a strike rate of 102, and Abdul Razak, 23 from 27, a strike rate of 85. Change the complexion of this match. Oh, and a big stroke. It could be up in the air. Is it gone far enough? Waiting it long on. No, he can't. Isolated out there on the boundary. Could do nothing about watching it. Pass over his head. Shobakta, the batsman. Yes, he was waiting for the ball to be deposited in that region. And Shobakta, he certainly can hit it long. And this time, um, clears the man down at uh, long on. It certainly is a big hit, purely because those boundaries are very long. up in the air as well. Lou Vincent getting underneath it. He takes the catch. Again, running him away from the pitch, the back to the pitch. A good catch. Yes, uh, runs certainly were being looked after. And uh, this time, looking to go over the top again, only to find uh, Lou Vincent running back and holding on to that catch. Mohamed Sami was a matsman uh, who was out, caught Vincent off Styrus for no score, 201 for nine. So that's the last ball and the end of the uh, Pakistani innings, 203 for nine. They certainly would be very pleased uh, with the way they batted. And uh, let's um, see whether that was a dismissal, yes so, or no. He missed it the first time, uh, Macallum, on the stamping. He certainly uh, found the batsman outside his crease, but uh, on the second attempt, uh, the batsman had, in fact, uh, got back. So it's uh, 203 for nine for Pakistan, the highest total in this tournament. And uh, they certainly must be very pleased with themselves. And uh, the man who stood out in that Pakistan innings was uh, Shoaib Malik with that fine innings of 74. Of course, he was uh, well supported by Yunis Khan, who continued his uh, good form in this tournament. And of course, um, young Yasser Hamid, he certainly was extremely impressive, making his uh, debut, 25 fine innings. And the bowling figures, um, Vettori, of course, uh, stood out uh, once again taking a little bit of punishment later on, picking up three for 34. There was Tuffy, who was used sparingly purely because I think the New Zealanders have had their injury problems. They're in the final, so they need to nurse him. And uh, Styrus, not as effective, expensive as uh, Weissman was. So the target, New Zealand need 204 runs to win from 50 overs at uh, 4.08 runs per over. Trying to get a block holder in, Fleming getting the bat down, straight down the ground, much faster this outfield. Very nicely played by Stephen Fleming. Difficult ball always with Shobakka. Bowls with that speed, tries to get into the block hole. Had to make the adjustment of getting the leading foot out of the way. Just a gentle push, getting the toe end of the bat. But Shobakka generating great pace. The ball still has enough to carry to the fence. First boundary for Fleming and the New Zealanders. Great. Oh, it's in the air. It's gone a long way in the air. It's going to be dropped. Did he quite get there? Shaab Malik going to his left. Diving. Very difficult from that angle to see whether he got a hand to it. Again, looking to come across the ball slightly, Chris Nevin. Shoulder of the bat. A desperate dive. Went a long way. Ball a similar delivery to get rid of Tendulkar when he was batting on 98 in the World Cup. This was quick. Nothing much the batsman could do. 
sure Malik gets a long way around just getting the fingertips. Oh, that would have been a great catch. And he's now on strike to Mohamed Sami. Oh dear, again, that bat coming down across the line of the ball presents the inside edge. However, gives him a boundary. Very unlucky one with Sami. It was quick. Chris Nevin had to hurry with the shot. Getting the inside edge, just missing the stumps. In fact, getting a bonus boundary there. Shoy Bakhtar at final leg made a great effort. But the pace of the ball just taking it away from him. Well, you could just see there that uh, Chris Nevin plays across the ball slightly. He's had a wee bit of good fortune. Here's to show back the last over. Again, just playing slightly across it and getting the shoulder of the bat. And look, it went very high and a long way. Shab Malik running to his left. Oh, yes, he swung beautifully through that. That's a disdainful hook. Magnificent six. It's pretty quick for a moment, Sami. Just marginally short in length. And Stephen Fleming loves it in that area. Gets into position very quickly. Hits it in front of square. Giving the indication that he had enough time. He stroked it so well. Down leg side. New Zealand runner leg by. Big appeal. No referral at all. Well, no signal, so I assume that that's uh, a run. Whether in the heat of the moment. He's very well back. I said initially that I felt that was going leg side. But looking at that again, there's no signal, however, from the umpire. So obviously he felt he got a little inside nick on that. Certainly there's the run out call. It's pretty safe, Chris Nevin. Now, Sri Lanka against Pakistan, the game that they lost, Ranjit, got off to a good start as well. They were at one stage uh, two down for 62 runs and then all out for 120. Catch it, catch it. That's gone in the air. Catch it is the shot. Yeah. And oh, almost got it. Abdul Razak is the one who's uh, good try, good try. Ranjit, missed good it. Try. Seems to have grazed himself, but uh, on, one had try. the impression that he'd got it. Oh, it was certainly a great effect, uh, effort here. It was um, the... And just look at the effort. Sort of just um, losing balance and... Um, a great effort, as you could see, and uh, the elbow hitting the ground and the ball um, going free. Well, we have seen things uh, change dramatically throughout this tournament. New Zealand off to a safe start. They're 36 without a wicket. Oh, very close. And yes, he's walking. So, uh, Mohamed Sami has dismissed Stephen Fleming. The dangerous-looking Fleming is walking back. And what a breakthrough. Yes, there was uh, some uncertainty in Stephen Fleming's batting in the last uh, few deliveries. Um, he was missed earlier on. And just look at this. Just uh, flirting with that delivery outside of Stump quite unlike him and uh, a great delivery Rashid Latif uh, clinging on to it uh, rather gleefully the captain and um, the Pakistan is delighted they've broken through the all important wicket in this innings so Stephen Fleming the captain he goes caught by Latif off Sami for 17 and uh, New Zealand are one wicket down for 36 and he's got more protection on the onside than off oh very close I thought it was uh, mighty close because he had gone across the line to work it away on the onside. Very close call for Winston. One gets the feeling that may have um, struck him mildly after the off stump. And uh, there was that doubt which uh, was in Ampah Harper's mind. This time given, yes, Mohamed Afiz has got another victim for Pakistan and a good one. 
Lou Vincent will be disappointed because uh, he missed an earlier close call. This time, umpire Darrell Harper had no problems. Certainly didn't have any hesitation. In fact, that ball did a little bit more. It spun uh, a fraction more, and that probably was the reason. Yes, hitting the inside uh, of uh, the pad and uh, probably may have moved to hit middle stump. Yes, yeah, straightforward decision in the end. A good one. And Mohammed Afiz and the company are delighted. A real bonus for Pakistan is not a regular. Mohammed Afiz. And so good move from Rashid Latif. And it has worked so far. Gone for two. New Zealand 40 for two. Scott Starris has uh, just come in. 63 matches over 1,000 runs. been accepted but uh, it doesn't impress the umpire now once again Chris Nevin living dangerously he's all at sea in Pakistan well they're hoping to get another one at this stage there was no doubt that he was very late Nevin on playing uh, he's looking to try and pull it but uh, as you would see uh, he was late the bounce uh, also it's a bit steep and um, certainly didn't uh, know much about it as Hafiz attempts, uh, begins his fifth over, and that's a little bit wheel directed, nice sweep shot, very fine, and uh, gets four runs from it. Yusuf Yohana tried hard, unable to stop it, sprinting down to the boundary. Bit too quick in the air, and the line was all wrong. An easy pickup shot for Chris Nevin, just had to get some bat on it because the line was so wide. So Nevin, Nevin is the batsman who's uh, got the foundation. It's up to him to continue on now. As a lusty blow through the offside by, offside by Scott Starris. Uh, picks him, gives him a four. Here we go, ball number four. Well, that's across the line, danger. Hit up in the air, and that's the result. That's the danger when you start to hit to those wide open expanses. Against the spin, the top edge, out just to what Rashid Latif was waiting for, patience to run out from the batsman. It was a defensive field with three men on the leg side in the deep after picking three singles in that over, going for a big shot, Chris Nevin holding out to Mohamed Sami. He's cushioning that catch with bent knees. So Chris Nevin, after a plucky 28 departs, the score 71 for three. Chris Kane is playing as a genuine batsman in this team. And an all-rounder of repute himself. And Chris Nevin, after getting to 28, decided on hitting against the spin to Danish Canaria, just what the captain wanted. The line was always going to be outside the off stump. It's a huge risk when you're looking to drag it from outside the off stump, and especially when you're looking to hit in the air, as Chris Nevin was looking to, in fact, the bottom hand coming off in the effort. So shot that went all wrong. Oh. Nicely played, good cover drive, excellent shot. He can hit the ball, Chris Keynes. He's a delight to watch when he's on song. And a uh, grand way to uh, get off the mark. Well, I thought there might just have been a little bit of uh, outside middle in this. Maybe we uh, that would be a bit unfair to Chris Keynes. He might have just opened the face just at the last moment. A good stride in. Uh, to get an off spinner through that cover area is never easy when the ball is turning just a little. More flight, full toss, and well, very close to cotton ball. I don't know whether uh, that ball carried to him or not, but the suggestion, the expression suggests that uh, there's a hint of a cotton ball. Uh, that sort of woods outside the off stump. We got the full toss, and yes, it did carry. And it went to the right hand of Canaria, and you can see holding the head. Then a little paddle sweep from Cairns, just for a single. You know what? Lucky to get it on the full. So uh, 77 for three. We got quite steep. Here goes Cairns. Cairns is a big hitter, folks, and he's really climbed into this, forcing, put it around, put it forcing, but not violent. Great timing. Exquisitely played. 
Medon was up in the circle, so Chris Keynes, all he had to do was to get to the pitch and lift it over. Lovely hit, lovely clean hit. Full toss and gone. Five. Wide and four. Now we're back to the orthodox one. All oh, Keynes. Oh, dear, is that going to be referred to the third umpire? It is. Gamery Silva will come into action here. The direct hit. Did, look, did Chris Keynes get back? Mohamed Afiz is the fielder now. He's a very, very fine fielder. Bullseye. Chris Keynes not hurrying back. And, uh, well, a very, very close thing. I think he's just made it by an inch. The bat is uh, on the line. If it's on the line, then it's out. But I think he managed to just drag it back. Well, I think that's on the line as it's broken, actually. And I think Chris Cairns hasn't, hasn't grounded that bat early enough and really stretched out. I'd like to see that arm stretched out a lot more. That would save him. Now, I think that that's still on the line, looking at that. Boy, that's close. I think that's just out. It's tough, I know. It's a tough call. This one looks in here to me from this angle. He looks as if he's, you can see the bat is just past the line there. But it's that other angle to me that might count against Chris Cairns there. And you can see he's just not stretching out enough. So Chris Cairns, oh, he's, there we are. He remains. The green light, the benefit, as you were talking. The benefit of the doubt must go to the batsman. It was just so close. Yes, I'm not surprised. Chris Cairns going like that. <laughs> oh, he's found the gap and he's got the Chris Cairns part. That That's boundary. Him. Glorious shot by Chris Cairns. Well driven off a length. Not seen too many of this. Dinesh Canary are tending to be quicker through the air. The ball's coming on to the bat. Made the adjustment and waiting for the ball till the last moment. Watching it on to his bat. Steady head. And because of the deviation of the pitch, he's able to get the placement right. Looks to be in good nick. Two boundaries and a six already. Strike rate of 85.7. Oh. And he's bowled. And that's the good move. Great bowling leg breaks to turn and then slipping in the googly can't get better than that between the battle pad excellent piece of bowling can understand Shiva being excited about this one through the gate Rashid Latif is delighted his faith in the leg spinner is born fruit Danish Canaria gets his second wicket and it's a big one Chris Kane's gone for 28 New Zealand 113 for four the most capped player for New Zealand. A strike rate that you wonder whether tells you the story about a batsman who bats at number six and seven, but over the years he's been a very useful one-day batsman. In fact, a cricketer for New Zealand. Was this a bit of inside edge? It was, of course, the wrong one, meant to go the other way, but no, no bat involved. Just went through the gate, played outside the line, Chris Keynes. Then picked the other one. The conniption, the leg spinner's conniption, the googly, beautifully delivered. Whoa. And you can see the delight on young Danish Kaneria's face there. It's just a dream wicket, isn't it, Shiva? It certainly is, and Pakistan looked at the wicket there. This partnership was taking the match away from them, and the leg spinner struck. He is delighted. Two wickets for him. It's so, there, this is... Uh, some examples, if you like, of uh, Vincent moving around the field. He's always busy, always busy. Levity never far from the surface. Scott Starr has had to go the aerial route. It's a good stroke. It's very clean. Lovely shot. Certainly got up to it um, using his feet. And um, this really is the way one could treat uh, the off-spinners. And that's hammered away. 
There he goes, square on the leg side, and it's going to be four. Just what New Zealand needed. 13 runs from that over. 40 overs gone, 142 for four. Yeah, this certainly is going to be an interesting stage, uh, as probably uh, the chip ball might bring about a harder one, which uh, would mean that the ball would come on easier on the bat, uh, and uh, the New Zealanders would find it easier. So you could see that there is some amount of discussion about Harper and uh, Shobakta. Now, yes, you can you can see them having a chat to show back to another while well, they're smiling and that, but we just had a show to shot there from our slow mo cameras. There, that's you can uh, now you can't see the th now yes you can you can see the thumb just working. Just if we could just have a look at that again, you can see the thumb scratching and then the rubbing it, but you can see again the thumb as it leaves frame there, scratching it around the seam of the ball. Muhammad Sami in his eighth over. <laughs> Dear, was that that's certainly low enough. Daryl Harper, I think, figured that this was going leg side. Yes, that certainly did squat um, quite low. And uh, if the batsman was in front, um, there was no doubt about it. But um, one got the feeling that that was um, going down leg side. Yes, it did. So uh, that ball squatted, makes it much harder, of course, when that occurs. Good call from Harper, though. Oh, Harris, lovely stroke. He's really launched into that. That really was bludgeoned away by Harris. This pitch at times can get very unforgiving particularly has it's now dried up fully and um, hammers it away there's plenty of open areas and uh, four written all over it oh he's given harper took a long time over that so long in fact that harris was almost at the bowler's end looking to run a leg by he dropped forward now, whether this, he got a nice and close Sami, it's pitched in line, just perhaps with leg, Stump has it. That's the interesting thing to me. It's hit above the flap. The leg certainly is slightly bent. Harper took a long time about this. It was an extended appeal. But then the message that Harris did not want, and New Zealand did not want. They lose their fifth wicket now. He shakes his head slightly, Chris Harris, after scoring a brisk 24. New Zealand won 60 for five. Brendan McCullum is the new batsman for New Zealand, coming in at number seven, fresh from 47. Here's the dismissal again. Now, let's see where it pitches. That's, well, you're probably okay, actually, there. But is that missing off stump? And he's caught. McCullum looking to run that down. Eunice Khan at first slip has held a comfortable catch, but Schobachter makes the breakthrough. McCullum, who got 47, not out yesterday for New Zealand. His top ODI score has just, I think, with, he's fenced at this with half a bat. Yes, he has, looking to run it down. That's the danger with a slip in, especially with a, a quick bowler. So New Zealand lose two wickets very quickly. 160, they lost their fifth. 161, they lose their sixth. So Kyle Mills is a new batsman with um, New Zealand needing 43 to win off 33. And uh, the pendulum now swinging, uh, certainly, Pakistan's way. Excellent delivery from um, Shoebakta and uh, Macklem certainly hadn't had time to settle in. Yunis Khan picking up a very regulation type of catch. Not much movement of the feet, and um, certainly now um, Pakistan holding sway here. He's gone over the top. That's a schema. And taken brilliantly. It's Shred Malik, I think, who's taken a brilliant catch. Now, it must have been extremely difficult to just the trajectory because it was hard and flat. And what a good catch under pressure. Didn't panic. 
inches away from the boundary group, so everything had to be spot on. And so Pakistan pick up another wicket here. You have to applaud the catch. Very good shot as well. Hitting with the spin. Good tactic to have. But look at that. At pace, it was a low trajectory scud that um, hurried over to show Malik. Held a very hot chance. Scott Styrus batted very well. He has to go. He made 46 runs, good runs. And New Zealand now 163 for seven. Daniel Vittoria is uh, walking in with a runner. I think it has got to be either his knee or the ankle that he twisted a few matches ago. 41 from 27 balls, but uh, this is a truly a magnificent catch. A stunning catch in the deep from Shweb Malik. Scott Styles really had to go for that big one. It was a nicely hit and really off balance, and he had to balance himself in the end because he was very close to the boundary rope and a pressure take. The force of the ball almost pushed him back, and that's how hard it was hit. Brilliant shot and an equally brilliant catch. So uh, I think Scott Starris could consider himself a little bit unlucky there. He did the right thing, but he just unfortunately hit it too straight, and he got a, out to a magnificent catch that really doesn't do justice to uh, the degree of difficulty. So Vittori is in first ball, edge. And that's going to go very close to the boundary. Certainly will bring in three runs. And that's a good start. I think it was uh, the wrong one from uh, Dinesh Kaneria. Scott Starr is uh, hoping against hope that they'll clear Shweb Malik. Had to walk back after playing uh, a gallant innings. Kyle Mills will face uh, Shweb Akhtar. And he's bowling quick. Oh, inside edge, and uh, well, it's gone past Rashid Latif. So a welcome for far too quick for Rashid Latif to react. Inside edge, and uh, they do flow, and they do go, go quickly to the boundary. Well, I guess if you're a New Zealand supporter, it doesn't matter how you get them. Look at that, a hard swing of the bat, and it almost bounced over the wicketkeeper's glove. The required rate now, 9.6 knot. Edge and take and straightforward catch to Russian Latif and Shrabakta has picked up his second victim. Too fast, too quick and too good for Daniel Vittori. So New Zealand lose their eighth wicket and the Pakistan team is in a huddle. Uh, they've shown good spirit, good fighting qualities. And once again, uh, quick work from Shrabakta. Ball bounced from the length and Russian Latif made no mistake. Also, I think Vittori didn't get into line on that one. He just gave himself a little bit of room, which is not the right tactic. But again, you know, he has to get runs. He has to depart, four runs. New Zealand now, 172 for eight. Paul Wiseman. Let's see if he can uh, be a wise man out there. 15 matches, 43 runs. Garbola cleaned him up. Just too quick. And uh, two straight from Mohamed Sami, so uh, another wicket falls. Brilliant stuff from Mohamed Sami. Well, if you hit, if you miss rather, I'm going to hit. And that was right on stone cam. It's looking a bit sick at the moment. They've got a very quick delivery, bang on target. Have a look at this. I'm going to hit you if you miss me. There you go. Right on the button. It's a difficult ball to hit, and uh, Paul Wiseman has to go. Three balls faced, did a good job, just to two runs. And now New Zealand perilously close to a defeat, 179 for nine. Daryl Tuffy is the new batsman. 50 matches, played his 50th game today. Shreya Bakhtar bowling his last over, two for 36. The other over, I guess, will be bowled by Mohamed Sami. 3 for 34 for the speedster. So both these basemen have done the job today. Five wickets amongst them. Oh. Slow one. That's gone in the air. Will this be taken? Curtains for New Zealand. Pakistan are through to the final. So Sri Lankans miss out. A wonderful effort from the Pakistan team. They win by 22 runs. Are ecstatic because it's been a team effort. Great fight back uh, by the middle order, especially from Shreb Malik to get them to a total of over 200. And the crowds uh, enjoying this moment. Shreb Akhtar has been the star. 
three for 36. And Kyle Mills will have to walk back dejectedly. Big Hoyk wasn't hit high on the back. He was going nowhere else but sweat up in the air. Presented with the simplest of catches to Tofik Uma, who made no mistake. And the Pakistan team are rejoicing. Well, I guess they were the better team today, Rummies. They batted very well. And uh, the only team to have scored more than 200 runs in this tournament. And um, even though this wicket was a better surface and promised a better run chase, uh, New Zealand gave it just that. But we're not quite up to the mark. Just falling short by 20-odd runs. And um, that successfully put Sri Lanka out of the final on Friday. And uh, these two teams will meet each other again uh, in the final of the Bank al Falah Cup. So uh, congratulations to Pakistan on the day. And uh, well played to New Zealand. Tried hard. There's a number of players who got starts and failed to go on to get a bigger one, a bigger score. And that resulted in a total of 181 runs. The 10th wicket coming in the 49th over. So good effort to the point, but just 20 runs short. Certainly a very good effort from the Pakistani bowler. Shweb Akhtar Mohammed Samin leading the way with three wickets apiece. Mohammed Afiz uh, showed his guts, showed his temperament, was asked to bowl in the first 15 overs and how well he bowled. Picked up Lou Vincent, one for 33, and then Dinesh Kaneria playing his first, first game and a couple of great deliveries, especially the one that dismissed Chris Keynes. That probably was the turning point in the middle of the innings. Three for 31 for the youngster. Shweb Malik filled it brilliantly and batted uh, outstandingly, really, to give Pakistan... And they hope to get into the final, and they are there now. Abdul Razak just used for a single over. And so this is the match summary. Pakistan 203 for 9. Shweb Malik, a brilliant 74. Contributions from Yunus and Yasser Hamid playing his first game was impressive. Vittori 3 for 34, once again impressive. Bowling from the left arm, Tuffy and Wiseman also picking a wicket. New Zealand in reply was always going to be difficult for the team chasing a total of 200. The first team, Pakistan, that got to that total in this tournament. Star is uh, promised for a while. 46, then Nevin and Keynes got 28 apiece, but in the end it was uh, too much, that total. Canaria, 3 for 31. Sami, 3 for 34. Shweb after, 3 for 36. So, a real team effort from everyone. As a result, Pakistan are through to the final. They won by 22 runs and qualify for the final. Today, all the awards are pocketed by Shweb Malik because he had a wonderful time both with the bat and ball and fielded well. So the first award that is of the best batsman of the match will be given uh, by Mr. Herschel Gunavardna and Shweb Malik is the proud owner of the TVS Victor. You have to collect another one, Shweb. Uh, the other award is the uh, Sri Lankan Airlines uh, Boundary Bonanza. Shweb Malik with eight fours. We will receive the award from Mr. Terence De Silva. And then the third award, the uh, biggest of uh, the day, the uh, Man of the Match Award, the Bank Alpha Man of the Match Award. And, uh, well, Shweb Malik has won that as well. He is a Bank Alpha man of the match of today's game. Mr. Bandula Warnapura will uh, give away the trophy and he'll receive the check from Mr. Sujiva Godliada. Uh, Shweb, uh, well played today. Um, you batted really well. Was there a plan? Yeah, it's planned. And uh, I just want to stay there and try to singles and doubles and get singles and doubles but you paced your innings really well you know started off cautiously and then you you uh, went uh, aggressively no i uh, i take a time there and uh, and see the ball very well after i i got 16 runs then i uh, i played few shots and what were the instructions from the captain to stay there till the end yeah okay well played and you feel it well also uh, did the did the uh, ball take a little bit of spin second time around no, it's uh, today's uh, today's wicket is better than uh, uh, before's matches, so it didn't bowl uh, much turn. Okay. Well done today. Enjoy the day. Well played. Thank you. Shweb Malik, the uh, man of the match.